that you're doing these static stretches post-workout. This is to make sure that your muscles are completely warm when you're doing this stretch. Okay, the first stretch we're going to do targets the muscle group of the hamstrings, which are located at the back of your thigh. We're going to do a very basic stretch to start called the sit, reach, and hold. You're going to do this on each leg, one at a time, holding the stretch for approximately eight seconds. It's very important that you do feel the stretch, but that you're not hurting. As soon as you feel any pain, ease up on the stretch a bit. So this is what it looks like. Keeping the back straight, legs straight. You're going to reach with the same side arm as your leg, going as far as you can until you feel that stretch. Then you're going to bring your other arm over top. If you can't reach your foot, you're just going to reach your leg as far as you can and bring your head down with the stretch. Once you've completed one leg, switch to the other. Same thing, right side, right arm, left arm follows. Once you've done eight seconds on each leg, you're going to do both legs at the same time. Very similar idea, this time both hands are going on the inside of your foot or leg. Holding for eight seconds. Okay, the next stretch, we're going to target the quadricep muscles, so our thighs. We're going to start by sitting up, reaching one leg behind our bodies as best as you can. If your leg isn't that flexible, it's okay to have it here, but try and get that foot towards your butt. The opposite leg, we want to make sure we never have the foot out, always bringing it in. Now, targeting this muscle, we're going to lean back as far as you can. If you're very flexible, you'll be able to go all the way to the ground. If you can only go to here, that's fine too. Holding for eight seconds. Make sure that each second is one steamboat, two steamboat, to ensure the proper stretch. Followed by the other leg. Same thing. Okay. Next, we're going to focus on our hip flexors. There's one exercise for this, sitting down. You're going to take both feet, place them together, and you're going to bring them as close to your body as possible. You can bring them here, that's great. You can only bring them here, that's okay too. The second part is you want to try and make sure your knees go as far down to the ground as possible. They can only go here, that's okay. They can go all the way down, that's great too. So, Looks like this, hands on the, on the feet. You can help push your knees down with your elbows. Sitting nice and straight, don't need to lean over. Hold down and count for eight seconds. Good. Okay, the next stretch we're gonna target our glutes or our butt muscles. This exercise makes you feel like a pretzel. The first step you're going to do is bring in your one leg here. The other leg is going to flop over top, like so. So left leg's flopped over top. I'm going to take my right elbow or right side, twist, and put pressure on the left knee with the right elbow. With that, I'm going to pull up. I'm going to feel the stretch in my left glute, so right here. Pull and twist. Same thing goes for the other side. Left leg in, right leg over, left elbow, pull and twist. Feeling the stretch in the right glute. Hold each stretch for eight seconds. Okay, now we're gonna do a standing stretch for our hamstrings. This one, very basic, two different ways you can do this. Feet shoulder width apart, Basically going down and as far as you can. If you need to bend your knees just slightly, that's okay. A key thing to remember is not to lock your knees tight. The second way to do this exercise is to isolate each hamstring separately. How you do that is by crossing one leg over and then going down. 
So by crossing my left leg over and going down, I'm isolating my right hamstring. Once again, hold these stretches for eight seconds. Okay, now I'm gonna show you a standing stretch for your quadriceps, so your thigh muscle. This one takes a little bit of balance, so if your balance isn't great yet, you can use a wall or your running partner beside you to help. So how you're gonna do it is balancing on one leg, grab the opposite leg, and just pull up. You wanna make sure you're not leaning forward, leaning back, you're focusing on this muscle here. Knee down as far back as you can without leaning your body. Holding for eight seconds. Same thing goes for the other leg. Now we're gonna do a standing exercise for our hip flexors. You're gonna place your feet wider than shoulder width apart you're going to bend both knees and then twist to one side, keeping your frame fairly straight. As you twist, you're isolating the left side, twisting to the right. The more flexible you are, the more you'll be able to twist. Relax, shake it out and go to the other side. Feeling it here. Okay, now we're going to do a standing stretch for the glutes, or the butt. We're going to be balancing on our right leg to start, with our left leg crossing over top onto the knee to balance. We're then we're going to go down. Here you're feeling the stretch in your left glute. On the other side, we're feeling it in our right glute. So right leg crosses over top the left, bend down, and you'll feel it right here. enjoyed this week's session on static stretching. If you have any questions about today's exercises, please feel free to email us at laceup at liver.ca. Thanks and tune in for next week.